ready to ride. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back to Sony's little portable system that could the Sony PlayStation Portable or the PSP. With over 80 million units sold and over 10 years of solid support, I myself has indulged a little in my collecting with the PSP. Owning both games and movies, today we will take a look at my RPG collection for my Sony PlayStation Portable. God's Eater Burst was developed by Bandai Namco and released by D3 Publisher of America in 2011. This game is an enhanced version of the original God Eater. This action role-playing game takes cues from Monster Hunter and from Capcom and Fantasy Star Online by Sega. By all means, not a bad thing to do, as the gameplay is fast and easy to get a handle with as you upgrade your gun, blade, and more to defeat specific origami or the large monsters you encounter as a special warrior called the New Type God Eater. Over 100 missions plus to keep you busy in this dark apocalyptic setting, but the visuals, voice, and acting and overall presentation will keep you glued to this one. Brave Story was developed by Game Republic and released by Xseed in 2007 and is based on the manga, book, anime from Japan. I'm a huge fan of the anime film myself and was truly looking forward to this game's arrival to the PSP. With great visuals, music, and overall presentation, the game lacks in its pacing of the story and development of characters. This is a paint to numbers type of game where you cross everything off for a great RPG, but miss on the important parts, the story and the emotion. Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection was developed and released by Square Enix in 2011. The game is a remaster of the Super Nintendo masterpiece. The visuals have been upgraded but still retains the look and feel of the original in high resolution 16x9 graphics. The game also contains After Years as an extra side story for your journey to complete. With a solid story, sound, and the basis of all character development, you can't go wrong with this RPG as it is one of the greatest of all time. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep was developed and released by Square Enix in 2010. This is the darkest game in the Kingdom Hearts series and it does not hold back. You will be dealing with fate, jealousy, hate and revenge in this one. The visuals are fantastic that really pushes the PSP to its limits and plays just as fast where this is not a kids game and actually a lot harder than you would think. Leveling up and knowing specific fighting combinations are key in making it through this action RPG. Fantasy Star Portable and its sequel was developed by Sonic Team and Alpha Systems and was released by Sega in 2009 and 2010. Taking point from the Fantasy Star universe, 
on the Xbox and PlayStation 2, the game and its characters will feel familiar, just with a different mission and story. Both are virtually the same, except with the sequel being able to travel more in the city where the first had text boxes and checkpoints to visit. Story is told much better in part 2, but it's also much longer and much more wordy, where you may fast forward to the next scene. Overall, a great game, with the basic fundamentals of the original, making the gameplay faster, with better combinations, and able to switch on the fly the battle preferences that you prefer. Lunar Silver Star Harmony is a remake and remaster of sorts of the original Sega CD version of Lunar The Silver Star Story. Developed by Game Arts and released by Xseed in 2010, it takes the original and makes it look, sound, play better than its original. The game is fun to play over again, but has been toned down a bit with its fighting from random battles to being able to avoid the enemies on screen. The traveling is much easier as you just choose where to go next and you are there rather than traveling exploring the normal way. Crimson Gem Saga was developed by Ironos and released by Atlas in 2010. This was one of my favorite back to basics RPGs I have played in a long time. The writing is whimsical and funny with big character development that asks for a sequel. Although nothing different than your average Japanese RPG, they do it right. With nice dialogue and good voice acting, the whole presentation with checks and marks an RPG needs and just does them so well. This was a sleeper hit that caught me off guard and I truly wish that there was a sequel to finish off the cliffhanger. Don't believe these vile thugs, oh gallant knight! Please protect me from these horrible mean men! I'll defend you for now, but I want to get to the bottom of this. Ah! I've had it up to here with this girl! Take my advice, punk. Mind your own business and get out of my way! I'm giving you to the count of three. One! What? Did you just call me a punk? Heaven above! Jean d'Arc was developed by Level 5 and released by Sony Computer Entertainment, and this singular game is probably my favorite PSP game. A tactical or strategy RPG, this game got me hooked from beginning to end with its dark story and twist of the Joan of Arc that we know of with magic and monsters. Taking so much of my time in battles, this one game alone had to remain plugged into the wall for the fear of running out of power. To the great writing, character development, to the battles, this game is a must-play on the PSP. 
That's it for me on this special episode on my collection of RPG games on the PSP. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be Hill out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you next upload. Bigfoot, you must stop at once! I do this all for the good of young Prince Henry. Now he shall finally reign over this world as its true king for all eternity. <laughs>